Hello, guys. Let's talk about atoms of an element. So, very important. The number of protons in the nucleus of an atom is called the atomic number. All atoms of the same element have the same number of protons. And how do we represent these elements? So we start with the symbol of an element. In this case, we have here a nice carbon atom, which is symbolized with one letter C. In the periodic table, you will see that the symbols are either one or two letters. Now, I started talking about the atomic number. Where do I put the atomic number? The atomic number appears as a subscript before the symbol of the element, okay? And this atomic number will just simply tell us the number of protons in an element. Remember, every single carbon atom on Earth or anywhere in the universe is going to have six protons. And there is another thing that we have to show, and that is the so-called mass number. The mass number gives us the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Now, if I have six protons and the sums, this is just protons, P plus, and the sum of neutrons plus protons equals to 12, how many neutrons do I have in this carbon atom? So the number of neutrons can be calculated by taking the mass number, which is 12, minus 6, which is the atomic number. So I'm going to have 6 neutrons in this particular carbon atom. And because my mass number is 12, this carbon atom is called carbon 12. Okay, so the mass of an atom is teeny, teeny, tiny. So the base unit of this scale is the so-called atomic mass unit or AMU. So if we look at the different masses, we can see that electrons are significantly smaller, about 5.5 times 10 to the negative fourth AMU, compared to the masses of protons and neutrons, as the mass of a proton and the mass of a neutron is about 1 AMU. So it makes sense that we add the number of protons and neutrons together to get the mass number because that will approximately give the mass of an atom. All right, so let's talk about isotopes. Atoms of the same element with different number of neutrons or also masses are called isotopes. And these just naturally occur in nature. So here, let's look at carbon 11. We know that the atomic number is six, that is the number of protons, and the mass number is 11, which is the number of neutrons plus protons. How many neutrons do I have in carbon 11? These were the protons. This is the sum of neutrons plus protons. So in total, I'm going to have the number of neutrons, 11 minus 6, 5 neutrons. Okay, how many neutrons do I have in carbon 12? We just did this calculation. 12 minus 6, so 12 minus six will give me six. How many do I have in carbon 13? 13 minus six which will give me seven. How about carbon 14? 14 minus six will give me eight. So these are isotopes of all the same element 
carbon. And actually, carbon-14 is used in carbon dating. We'll talk about it sometime later. All right. So the atomic weight that is given in the periodic table is the average mass of an element and it is calculated using all the isotopes of an element weighted by their relative abundances. And we have a formula for that. And here is the formula. So the atomic weight equals to the sum, this means the sum of the isotope mass multiplied by the fractional natural abundance. So don't be scared because of the sum sign, okay? Let me give you a very simple example, and let's see if we can work our way through that. So let's say that we have a total of 10 apples, okay? I have five apples, which has a mass of 100 grams, and then I have five bigger apples out of those 10 with a mass of 200 grams. What is the average mass of the apples? So I have five 100 gram ones and another five 200 gram ones. What would be the average mass of an apple? Well, if you calculate it, it would be 150 grams. How did you do your calculation? Well, you knew that you have five apples that are weighing 100 grams, and five is actually half of 10, right, or 50%. So you can take 100 grams times one half, right? That's the fraction. And you add it to it the same for the other five apples. So we had five apples, which are 200 grams, and that is actually half of all the apples that we have again. So if you do this calculation, you get to 150 grams. Often what you are going to see is not the fractional natural abundance given, but actually the percentage. So one half can also be represented as 50%. And I'm going to show you how to convert between a fraction and a percentage. All right, so let's take a look at an example. Let's calculate the average atomic weight of element X if it has three naturally occurring isotopes. And we are given the names of the isotopes. So this is X152, X150, and X148. We know their natural abundances, and this is given in percentage, and then we know their masses in atomic mass unit. So how do I convert between percentage and a fraction? Because I will need the fractional natural abundance in order to calculate the average atomic weight. So percentage goes from 0 to 100, but fraction goes from 0 to 1. So the scale is different by 100. So we, we said that if I have half of my apples, the fraction is 1 half or 0.5, it's going to be 50%. So in order to convert from abundance and percentage to fraction, I simply have to take the abundance and divide that by 100. So if I do that, I'm going to get 0 0.7356 for the fractional natural abundance of my first isotope. For my second isotope, I again divide it by 100. I'm going to get 0 0.1400. And for the third one, I'm going to get 0 0.1244. Now, if you add these numbers together, you should get 100, which is 100%. And if you take these numbers and add together, you, the sum is going to equal to 1. Okay, let's do the calculation. 
So the atomic weight equals to the sum of the isotope mass times the fractional natural abundance. So the isotope mass of my first isotope is 151.9 AMU. And I have to multiply that by the fractional natural abundance, which is 0 0.7356. And I know that I have to add to it, since I'm looking for the sum, the same uh, quantities for the two other isotopes. So plus 140. Forty-nine point nine AMU. This is my second isotope times its fractional abundance, which is zero point fourteen zero zero, plus the same thing for the third isotope, and the mass of that is one hundred and forty-eight AMU multiplied by the fractional abundance, which is zero point twelve forty-four. So if you do this calculation, you are going to get 151.1 AMU. And that is the average atomic weight of our element X. I hope this makes sense. See you in the next video where we will be talking about the periodic table.